Okay, so last time on Paper Mario Pro Mode, we did a lot of side quest stuff, got a bunch of star pieces, got the Flower Saver badge, which saved our butt many times in Forever Forest. Started Chapter 3, and man, Forever Forest was a difficult place to navigate through. But now we have Bo in our party. Everybody say hello to Bo. She's going to be pretty useful. At this point, I also have the Super Boots. And I'm trying to figure out if I should just finish Chapter 3, or if I should take the Super Boots back to Toad Town, do some stuff there, get the shortcut open, and then uh, finish Chapter 3. If I go back to Toad Town, we will have to fight Junior Troopa, and I am not looking forward to that fight. That's probably going to be a toughie, but I think I'm going to try it. This is all... Even in the vanilla game, this fight with Junior Troopa can be kind of tough, so I'm not looking forward to what changes arrive. I'm going to try it, though. So he's an airborne enemy, so Quake Hammer's not going to do anything. I will equip Power Jump instead. Money, money, and payoff are also not going to be any of any use. Power Rush and Close Call could be useful. I feel like we need an HP+. plus. I feel like we need all the HP we can get for this fight. Oh, sweet! And then we can, yeah, Power Rush and Close Call, just in case. And then we're going to make sure we have Gumbario as our party member, because we need to tattle on him. And also, because he's airborne, Gumbario's basically going to be the only one who can damage him. Especially when combined with his charge ability. Although, if Gumbario turns out to not work well, I actually will use Paracarry for this fight, because he's going to be our, my only other option. Because Bo can hit aerial enemies, but she's very weak. If enemies have defense, she can't damage them. No! Ah, bugs! Get him off me! I'm lost in a freaky forest! So scared! Yeah! Oh, Mario! Oh, thank... I mean... Aha! Boy, are you unlucky to run into me again! Why, it's Junior Troopa! Have you been crying? Did you get lost in there? Hey, shut up! Shut up! I'm not a lost child! I'm your worst nightmare! Here comes the pain! He's not joking. This is a one tough fight. And there's a Dry Bones here for literally no reason. Don't think I'm as vulnerable as I was before. I've been studying necromancy. You know what that means? It means you're in trouble. I'm not done yet. Check this out. More power! Well, actually, I think we'll be using Bombette. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's see how you like the new improved Junior Troopa. Well, at least he doesn't have a spike on his head. All right, I guess we're going to start by tattling the Dry Bones. This is a Dry Bones. Dry Bones are skeletal remains from Koopa Troopas. Just when you think they're beat, these guys rise back up and attack again. You're going to have to beat them all at once. Or you could use fire attacks. If they become ashes, there's no way they'll recover. Oh, wait. Do explosives not destroy them? Oh, if that's the case, then I might be in some trouble. Well, let's power jump this sucker. Man, with... With regular def guard and a damage dodge, he deals that much damage to us. That's crazy. Alright, well, we got a tattle on him. It's Junior True, but we can't get enough of this guy. I, he should still have 40 HP, which is a lot. And wow, that didn't take too long. Alright, I want to see. With Bomb Bet, if she bombs this guy, will he die? Like, for good? Yes, he will! Cool. Oh, thank you, Murley. This is actually going to be very useful. Thank you! No damage. Okay. I. You know what, guys? Because you guys have been asking for it, I will use Paracarry for this fight. He, I've upgraded him, and that whiff... Upgraded Shell Shot should deal a lot of damage. Okay, only four. That's not as much as I was hoping for. Alright, I think we're going to have to use Refresh now. But Paracarry, yeah, Paracarry upgraded with Shell Shot can do a good amount of damage, but that, that takes a decent amount of FP for every Shell Shot. Free with Flower Saber. Alright, but he's halfway down. Okay... We're going to have you Shell Shot first, before I use Refresh. That way I can get the most out of it. Oh! This isn't going my way! Looks like I need more help! Oh, no, not another Dry Bones, you butt. 
Oh, I don't... Wait, what happened to my star power? I only used refresh. Does it take more than one star power? What the heck? Okay, well... I gotta get that dry bones out of here. Nope! Did, I failed the action guard. Hey, Mobius, how's it going? Yep, I died to Junior Troopa, because he's a butt. Do, 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 doom, doom. Alright. Yeah, that's gonna be a toughie. But we can do this. We can do this. I think it, so. A change I'm going to make. I'm gonna start with Bombette. If I don't tattle on the dry bones right away, then that's okay. Because I'll tattle on him when we get to Bowser's Castle. Or maybe earlier, depending on how things go. But if we start. If we bring Bombette to the table right from the get go, then she can just blow him up immediately, and that takes a lot of pressure off. No way! I'm scared! Oh, uh, hey, Mario! <laughs> this little boy is filthy! What happened to him? Is he a lost child or something? <laughs> hey, shut up! <laughs> I'm not a lost child! <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, that's why. It's because I don't have full star power going into this fight. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. That actually kind of makes sense. Alright, yeah, let's get the dry bones out of the way first. You know what? We'll save the tattling on him for the end. Let's just go to Paracarry. I've got a plan. Thank you, Murley. I really do appreciate this spell. Yes, no damage. That's fantastic. Yeah, Power Jump and Shell Shot deal the same amount of damage, but Shell Shot takes triple the FP to actually use. Oof! Okay, so now he's gonna call the other drive. Okay. Oh, you butt. Mmm, that's not good. I'm gonna hope I can time the action command properly. I gotta get that dry bones out of here. Okay, thank goodness. Alright, we gotta use refresh to get our HP back up. <laughs> Here you go, Mario. You look like you need someone to refresh you. I do! I thank you so much! Alright, now we gotta go to Goombario, so we can tattle on him. Thank goodness I was able to time that. Let's tattle, so we can see his HP. He has 16 health left. Alright. I also... Oh, I could have used a Volt Shroom at the start. That also probably would have been helpful. I'll, I'll eat a Super Shroom. That'll keep me alive for a little longer. Let's charge of Goombario. Oh, sweet. We can refresh now. I also do have to remember, I do have Power Rush equipped, so I can deal more damage if my HP is low, but also, that means I'm going to die unless it's the finishing blow. Alright, one more charge, Goombario, and then we should be able to kill him on this turn. Yes, we can kill him. Alright. Power jump, and goodbye! Whew! Yeah, that, that was a tough one. <laughs> but we beat him! 30 star points! No! Darn it, darn it, darn it! Oh boy, let's go back to Boo's Mansion and just get that heal and save. <laughs> Alright, that was that was good. Yeah, that fight is pretty tough even in the vanilla game. So that with him with double attack power and the dry bones to help him definitely was a bit of a pain. Alright, let's re-equip our badges. Oh yeah. 
I still want to make the. I still want to make that cash money. All right, we saved that. We beat him. Excellent. All right. This is also an item I did not know existed for a very long time. There's a strange leaf there, and that's needed for a bunch of recipes. If you're the cooking aficionado like I am, you appreciate that. <laughs> I literally did not know the Strange Leaf was an item in the game, though, for the longest time. But darn it! I went the proper way. I thought this led back to... Never mind. Nope. This way will lead back to Toad Town. There we go. Oh! I made it out of the forest! I could kiss the ground! Yahoo! I, I agree, Junior Troopa. Th Forever Forest was pretty tough. <laughs> Ooh, also. A bunch of Star Piece panels we can get now. Hey, everybody, I'm back! Mario, you haven't beaten Chapter 3 yet! Don't care! <laughs> Alright, I can never remember where the panel for this uh, room is. I think it's on the road somewhere. Oh, right there. Sweet. There we go. I can't wait till I get the Ultra Hammer and can just hammer those panels open. What a time that'll be. Alright, moving on. We gotta go to Mario's house, because something something hilarious happens if you take the Ultra Boots back here. Oh, yes! Also! Oh, yes! This is the other reason why you want to go back. Oh, it's you, Mario. What fortunate timing. I had a dream last night, and another oracle spoke to me. Its voice was heavenly. If you keep going around and around the red palm tree in the distant desert town, Dry Dry Outpost, something good will happen. So said the voice in my dream. It doesn't seem to make any sense at all to me. In fact, thinking about it makes me so uneasy that I can't sleep at night. If you find out what it means, please tell me. It's okay, I've, uh, I've played the game before. I know exactly what it's leading me to. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do free ground pounds in his house. Yes! Huh? Oh, this badge is quick change. I had no idea such a useful badge was in my attic. Mario, you are very a very lucky man. You should put that badge on. He's not joking. The quick change badge is low-key one of the best badges in the game. You can change your party member and attack with their party member all on the same turn. Without, like, using up a turn. It's so good. Now the question is, will they have increased the amount of BP it needs to equip? In the vanilla game, it takes 4 BP, and then in Thousand Year Door, it takes 7. I'm anticipating it's going to take 7 BP. Only 2?! <laughs> oh, yes, we are equipping that. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's it? Eh, we don't really need payoff and money money, I don't think. We are equipping quick change. No question. That 2 BP. It's, like, quite possibly the best badge in the game, and it only takes 2 BP to equip. Wow. <laughs> zippity doo da zippity day. I'm still swinging and a singing today. <laughs> wow. All right. So normally, the game expects you to kind of finish chapter three before you come back here with the super boots. With the super boots, you can enter Luigi's secret basement, and when you come here during uh, during chapter three, Luigi will be in his secret basement, writing in his diary. So if you take the ultra if you take the super boots back here while he's actually down there. I wonder how little Mario is doing in his quest. Ma Mario! Uh, uh, uh oh, oh I I mean never mind. Uh, how did you find this place? <laughs> and then he pretends like he didn't see anything. No new mail. I'm going to sleep in my bunk bed. I sleep on top because I'm the top. Hey, 
bro. Anything wrong? Nothing suspicious in the basement, was there? What's that, Mario? You need something? Uh, he what? M Mr. Koopa Koot wants to meet. <laughs> wants to <laughs> to get my autograph. Me? He wants me to sign something? Whoa, cool! I'm flattered. Uh, I guess maybe I'm a little bit of a celebrity, huh? Wait one second. I'll write it right now. Aw, this is so cute. I like how Luigi gets to write his autograph. Here you are, Mario. My autograph. Give my regards to Mr. Koopa Koot, okay? Hey, you got the autograph! Luigi's autograph. Koop Koop wants this. Luigi has terrible handwriting. It's like when it's like Mickey Mouse signing your uh, signing his autograph at Disney World. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, I also need to do the the radio game again. Cause I failed the first time. It was sad. Oh, also, I've got money. I'm gonna buy the Sleep Stomp badge, cause it actually could be useful. I knew it, Mario. That Sleep Stomp costs one. B yes. I guess I might as well buy Multi Bounce as well. It's not like I'm gonna use my money for much else. Uh, what items do I have? Nothing that I can cook. Nothing that I can cook that results in anything good being made, I should say. I think there's a hidden panel in here somewhere. There's so many screen. it's hard to keep track of where all the hidden panels are. Hey, bro. How you doing? I'm gonna be fighting your bait later on in the game. Did you know that? There we go. Give me that star piece. Give me that star piece! Can I do anything in here yet? I'm just, uh, wait. Uh, he looks German. But I can't do a good German accent. <laughs> I'm Simon! I'm Ryman! To folks who know it, I'm the master poet. Poor Pop Diva cannot sing, but my lyrics are just the thing. If my lyrics really rock, our pop diva would be cured of shock. I'm tragically stuck though, cause my last line's a no-show. Later, Pluminator! Okay. Guess we can't do that side quest yet. I, I can't ever remember when that side quest opens. It's got the cool music though. Whee! I swear there was a panel with a star piece here. Perhaps I'm mistaken. With the super boots, we can go down there, but we're not going to go down there just yet. Going down there means we have to fight... <laughs> we have to fight uh, Dark Koopas, and I'm kind of scared of what changes have been made to them. Kawiz! Time for Chuck Kawizmo! Let's go to the question. I forget which one that I got wrong last time. Question. How many guards patrol the hall outside of Princess Peach's room? Um... Five? Nope, it's free. Oh, no! I suck! I couldn't remember if I had chosen two or three. So I probably should have... Ugh. Whatever. Yeah, I'm doing side quest stuff first, but I promise we'll go to Tubba Bubba's castle this stream. That's the arty guarantee. Anyhow, something we should go and do back here. Oh, we can't carry anymore. I won't throw out the strange leaf. We don't need that. That repel gel is going to be incredibly useful. It's a very rare item and a very good item. It makes you invincible for several turns. Oh man, and combined with the hustle drink, that's gonna be incredible. Boop, 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 boop. Aww. <laughs> Chuck Quizmo didn't come back. <laughs> Alright, well, may maybe we go to Koopa Village. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe Chuck Quizmo's here. Anyway, we have to deliver the autograph to Koopa Koot. I had to find a brand new pair of shoes to get this for you, but it was worth it! 
Hop and Hammer Brothers, you're a wizard, Mario. <laughs> I have so many unique treasures now. What a lucky Koopa I am. Here, take this and know that I'm very grateful. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take it. Oh, what luck! I guess the younger generation is not so bad. Well, I don't usually ask for favors, but the other day I went shopping at the Cooper shop in the village, but on my way home I must have dropped my wallet on the road. Look for it, would you? My memory is kind of sketchy, but I think I remember talking to that guy who listens to the radio in front of his house. I'm sure my wallet was with me then, but after I got home I realized it was gone. I'm hyperventilated! I must find that wallet! Promise me you'll help? I can't pay you any more coins until I have my wallet! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How tragic. We should deposit some of our valuable items at the store. Old reliable Koopa shop. You better take good care of that repel gel. I mean it. Also, store my apple. I'm gonna cook with it later. Cook, uh, store my volt shroom, too. Because pretty much all of the enemies in the upcoming dungeon just hit you with clubs. So I really don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. You got the empty wallet. Oh, it's empty. Luckily, I keep my money outside my wallet. Then why do you even need your wallet? Information station. But moving on, folks. Dun, da, 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 dun. Listen up. It's your big chance to take the Koopa Leaf in front of the Toad Town gate. You know the one, but there's only five minutes. <laughs> Plenty of time. I even have time to stop by Koopa Coot. <laughs> Here's your wallet, man. Oh, thanks, Starhaven! You've saved me again, Mario! You seem to have a nose for finding things. Take this as thanks. Oh, you don't want to be so polite, fella. Take it. Oh, what perfect luck! Uh, well, I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well, then, Anvil, I don't usually ask for favors, but if you find the time, I really do have a craving for a taste of tonic. Most stops sell it. It's my all-time favorite drink. It really clears out the old beak. Yes, indeed. Fetch me a cold one, would you? I'm parched over here. I have your word, young fella. <laughs> he wants me to grab a cold one. All right, sure. I can't remember. Did I store my Tasty Tonic, or did I sell my Tasty Tonic? I don't remember. Regardless, they sell them at the store in Toad Town, so I can just buy one from there, worst case. But also, I'd rather not buy one. I gotta hurry to Info Toad. Boo boop. Hey, Info Toad. Hello! I'm the Toad at the trading event. How are you? Did you bring the item? Here's the Koopa Leaf. Congratulations! This is the item for today. We get maple syrup. Use it wisely. See you at the next trading event. I remember the prize being a little better than that. I guess the first prize is kind of lame. So do I have a Tasty Tonic in here somewhere? No. That is unfortunate. I know in the vanilla games, Tasty Tonics you can buy for like two or three coins, but... They buffed the price in this. A, because it's pro mode, and B, because Tasty Tonics are actually a lot better in this than they were in the vanilla game. Which is good. They really suck in vanilla game. The exact same shop that sells them also sells Super Sodas for basically the same price, and Super Sodas are just flat out better. I have just enough money. You better appreciate this old Co man, Koopa. Do, 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 do. Here's your freaking tasty tonic. Pour in piranhas, you're like a psychic, Mario. This is exactly what I wanted. As a gesture of my gratitude and generosity, take this. You don't have to be super light, take it. Oh, well, look, you came at the perfect time. I guess the younger generation is so bad after all. Well, then, you I don't usually ask for favors, but I've heard through the grapevine, just like the California Raisins saying, that there's a beautiful fortune teller living on Soon Star Summit. So, if you would, I want you to hack out there and ask her for an autograph. I'm too shy. Run along for me now. I can barely wait. You promised to hurry? I, I already got you my brother's autograph. Yeah, but I I your brother's not a hot girl, okay? <laughs> True, he's not. <laughs> He is pretty swell, though. 
Hey Chuck Quizmo, are you here? I could use another quiz. I need more star pieces. Oh, there he is. Quiz! I, you've gotten this ant this question wrong twice now. I wonder what the answer could be. It's three. Because I had to get it wrong twice. Correct! Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered 13 questions, but we're not done yet. Wanna try the next one? On to the next question. Question. How is Merlovely related to Merlon? Oh, um... His daughter, I think? Nope, it's his niece. Alright, better luck next time. I actually don't remember. Talk on it, they're asking all these deep cut questions. Like, come on. Oh, before I forget, there's a really sneaky hidden panel in here. Yeah. There's also a, a hidden panel randomly in the desert on one of the screens, but I don't remember which one. I'm waiting until I get the I Spy badge. Whoop! Uh, zoop, zoop, zoop. Alright. Well, I gotta find Chuck Quizmo again. This game just has a phenomenal soundtrack. Oh, can we do the next trading event? Stop bursting into my house and changing my radio station! In other news, we're playing a big-time training event. Okay. Gotta wait till next chapter. I think I need more health-refilling items and fewer FP-refilling items. Because I'm not going for FP very quickly, but I am going for HP pretty fast. Fact. I think I'm going to unequip my FP+, plus and equip another HP+. Plus. Just like so. I think it's going to be a little more valuable. Because again, with Flower Saver, I'm not using very much FP right now. This is also why I like upgrading BP, because I can just unequip these badges to change my stats anyways. <laughs> Alright. Chuck Quizmo's not here. Then, oh well... We're gonna fight the Koopas. Okay, he's not here. Alright, Chuck Wismo ditched us. That's okay. Are my stats can No, oh, that's right, because I just equipped the HP Plus badge. I'm gonna sleep, and then I'm gonna take on Electro Blooper, and then I'm gonna take on the Dark Koopas. And then we'll go back and actually continue Chapter 3. Oh, wait, no, no, first we're going, going to Shooting Star Summit. A for the Star Pieces, and B because uh, Merlovely's autograph. Hey, Prince Dust! How you doing? I'm still curious where that warp pipe is going to lead. Ma oh, maybe that's a quick warp to Bowser's castle. That could actually be kind of interesting. Also, there's more hidden panels. Oh, yeah! And we have Bombette here. Boom! Star piece. I think this panel's up here. There we go. Yep. Alright. Yeah, mo moving can definitely be a huge pain in the butt. It helps, it helps if you have a lot of able-bodied people who can uh, help you move. Get off that bombette. Alright, I don't know how many star pieces we have, but we got a lot. Hopefully enough to get Zap Tap. Oh. Here we go. Let's tattle on her. This is the house of the amazingly gorgeous woman, the fortune teller remote. Alright. Yeah, yeah, no, I want to... She's a gorgeous lady and lovely. You can't believe them is in the same room. Blah, blah, blah. Darn it. You didn't tell me if she's Merlin's niece or her, his, his granddaughter. Ah, oh, my, my. Hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune told, talk to me over the counter. But I need your autograph. Excuse me, you want my autograph? My, my, mercy. Are you sure it's mine you want? You really do? Well, this is a first. What shall I do? 
Ah, of course. I don't mean to be a stick in the mud, but I'll give you the autograph on one condition. Oh boy, I'm getting bored. A small favor, I want you to visit my twin sister and fetch a crystal ball from her. She lives in a back alley in Dry Dry Out Outpost. Her name is Merle. Well, Mario, would you? I'm gonna wait until my, uh, my... <laughs> I'm gonna wait till my special curse runs out before doing that. Hey, Merlo! I hit the jackpot for star pieces. Aw, oh, man! Sweet! Oh my gosh, we have 20. Okay. I promised I'd get Zap Tap. We're gonna get Zap Tap. There, you happy now, folks? Alright, I'll also get... I'll get feeling fine. These status effects are kind of killing me a little bit. And then we'll save up for some more later. Actually, I'm going to see if I can equip. I'm going to face it. Actually, no. I'll hold off on feeling fine till after the Electro Blooper. Because the, the Dark Koopas can make you dizzy. And that is a very hard action command to guard against. So... I usually equip feeling fine before the Dark Koopas fight. Alright. Now we're going to do our badge to set up. First for Electro Blooper, so we're definitely going to want Hammer Fro. Quake Hammer ain't going to help. Okay, let's see. Money Money will also not help. We want Hammer Fro. Is there another one that only costs two? Not really. I'll equip Power Jump for the extra damage. Power Rush, I guess. There we go. Alright, Electro Blooper time. Your agent wants to get the house on the market ASAP. Yeah. Re Agents generally want, <laughs> want things done quickly. Makes sense. Just ignore the Gloombas, we don't care. Blooper! Big boy Blooper. We potentially should have fought him a little bit earlier, but it's okay. Alright, Electro Blooper. The Electro Blooper is electric charged when they're emitting electricity yet. <laughs> If, they manage, if you, you can manage to damage them while they're emitting electricity, it'll go back to normal. Their attack power when they're emitting electricity is higher. Let's try to be careful what you say. Yeah, that sounds fine. And Quick Change is going to make this a little bit easier. Is he electrifying himself already? Wait, what? You're not supposed to be able to do that. I thought that was strictly a Super Blooper fan creating Blooper Babies. It's a Blooper Baby. Oh, yeah, it says Super Blooper. It, wait. It literally said Super Blooper spits them out, and you have to, and they drain you. We need to beat them quickly so they can't drain us dry. They're so cute, though. Okay. Well, that happened. I don't have any... Oh, no. Well, that sucks. Gotta kill them. It helps to have Star Storm to deal with these guys. They're not too powerful, but they... Yeah, they're gonna drain you. Alright. Power jump the blooper baby. Get him out of here. We have this lovely thing called quick change. Oh man, I am not good at doing that with the GameCube controller. Again? You gotta be falcon kidding me. Is Paracarry Shell Shot really the only thing that can deal with it? No, no. No, forget you. We're attacking Electro Blooper. Okay, I gotta I gotta I gotta practice using bow with the GameCube controller. There we go. I was wondering when you were gonna pull that stunt. But with Flower Saver, this means that Out of Sight only takes one FP. 
And this is why Quick Change is extremely useful. Wait, oh, never mind. They increased the amount of FP out of sight needs. Now it takes four instead of two. Well, that's unfortunate. No! Okay, this is really annoying. And I can't just leave him alive, either. Merly, not the best time for this. Darn it. Out of, I guess it makes sense for them to buff... Or to nerf out of sight by making it take more FP, because it was really good in regular game. Avoiding the ex the double damage as well will make it even better. So, yeah, it makes sense that they would increase it. So help me, if you make more blooper babies after this, I'm gonna need... <laughs> okay. He's electrifying himself. I This I can live with. Let's refresh, and out of sight. When he's electrified, that attack deals a lot more damage. And with the double damage already being a thing, I really don't want to have to deal with it. You thought Artie was going to have an aneurysm? From what? Oh, wait. Here's an idea. If we... Lullaby. Will this put the blooper babies to sleep? Because that would be great. I want to put one of them this for one turn. Yeah, that really wasn't worth it. Okay, there we go. I just have to do a, dis a different stance for <laughs> for <laughs> doing the slap. Yeah, yeah, in your face. Maybe I should just leave the blooper babies alive if I just out of sight every turn. Because it feels like every other turn he spawns them, and it takes me two turns to defeat them anyway, so I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. I feel like that's actually probably a better strategy. Oh. <laughs> You've seen me play backyard baseball. I freak out in that game way more than in this. <laughs> Whoops. That was the wrong time to use out of sight. Okay, well. That's bad. And I can't... Oh, that's real bad. I think I might be just kind of screwed. Is there anything that restores HP and FP? Spaghetti. I could use spaghetti. I'll eat spaghetti. Yeah! I gotta be on my mashing game. Nope. I think I think we're dead. Okay, I, I only took two damage from that one, but this is gonna hurt a lot. Yeah. That's unfortunate. That's the other thing. When he summons Boober Babies, he's not actually attacking you, so... That's all my FP, though. That's a shame. I wish stylish moves were a thing in this, so I could boost my star power more easily. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. If I lose to this guy, I'm gonna go in for a second time with a drastically different strategy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I need... I need HP and FP, and I don't have anything that can give me both. Uh, 
I need to heal myself right now more than anything else, so... Eat the egg! If I didn't heal myself, then I would have died this turn. Unless he does something like electrify himself, which... Nope, he's creating another, another baby. Okay, great. Just, just fantastic. Alright. I just... Oh my gosh, thank you, yes. That is exactly what I needed. Oh, yes, thank you. Actually, I've got an idea. I don't like how much more difficult Smack is to do with the GameCube controller, but I have an idea. That is not what I wanted him to do. But at least we can refresh now. Actually, no, it's a good thing that he did this, I think. Because now we can do this, followed by out of sight. I'm just kind of... I, I think I... Wait, did I equip Power Rush for this fight? I actually forget. <laughs> I was like, if I go in danger, my attack power gets boosted. Okay, the fact that he can make blooper babies, and the fact that I don't have Star Storm, is making this fight a lot more difficult. Okay. We'll go hammer throw him. Actually, wait, if you damage him while he's electric, does he just immediately cease to be electric? Because if that's the case, then I've been using out of sight way more than I should have. <laughs> I am so bad at mashing. I don't know how people can, like... Oh, well, alright, I died. I don't know how people can mash the A button, or just any button, just ridiculously fast. I, I don't understand. Alright, I, I, I kind of figured I was having a game over, just because I did not know what I was getting into for that fight. I think I'm going to be doing a little bit of re-strategizing for this. Alright. So he spits out blooper babies. That's a bit of a problem. Another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to equip Zap Tap. Alright. I did equip Power Rush. Okay. Zap Tap takes four. I think Zap Tap is going to be useful, and that means we don't need Hammer Throw. Because with Zap Tap, I think with Zap Tap, we can jump on its head even when he's electric. Another thing, we might, do we need quick change? Because if we ju we might just stick with bow for the entire fight. Other than tattling on them with Goombario. And if we unequip that, then we can re-equip Flower Saver, which I think... Yeah, I think Flower Saver will be worth it. Alright. Round two against Electro Blooper. Blooper! Hey, big boy. Alright, here we go. We're gonna have to start the fight off strong. Gonna tattle on Electro Blooper. <laughs> and he's immediately gonna make Blooper Babies. Because that's the kind of guy he is. Alright. Now I kind of have to make a decision, do I want to focus on the blooper babies, or do I want to focus on him? I'm going to try focusing it just on him and ignoring the blooper babies. Or maybe only attack, only, maybe, maybe only kill one. I th oh no, oh my gosh, with zap, oh man, with zap tap they can't do anything. Oh, pff, we are so, we are so ignoring them. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, Zap Tap is key for this fight. Oh, Zap... Wow, even Electro Blooper takes damage, even though he's supposed to be electric. <laughs> what a maroon. Oh, forget this. <laughs> Goombario, we're keeping you out. <laughs> Until we absolutely need Bo. But I'm not even sure if we actually will ever absolutely need Bo. If, if my theory on... 
gosh. Yeah, Zaptap trivializes this fight. <laughs> Alright. It's Fury time, Woody. So, A, will this make him cease to be electric? It will! Okay, never mind, this guy's a joke. <laughs> Just go in with Zap Tap, and you can win too! Ka chow! Yeah, I didn't realize that Zap Tap would completely prevent his blooper babies from doing anything. That's, that's busted. Like, that's actually busted. <laughs> if we bring his HP down to zero, will we still have to kill the blooper babies, or will they die with him? Oh. <laughs> yeah, honestly... So, I guess what I always think is, I always think for Zaptap, it's like enemies that directly attack, that directly touch Mario, will take one damage. Okay, that, for me, that's not that great, and you can jump on electrified enemies' heads, that's also not that great, because very few enemies are electrified. But, the fact that it can just stop several enemies' attacks from ever happening, that, I, I always forget about that, and that's definitely the most broken part of the badge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> guys, even if the blooper babies don't die with their parent, they're going to kill themselves on when they attack me. <laughs> oh, pff, all right. <laughs> Here we go. Nine damage, just enough to kill him. You did good, Gumbario. Let them kill themselves. Thurk, what happened? <laughs> Alright, yeah. Definitely glad I got Zap Tap. 28 star points. I'm actually glad I had the game over then. Because I saved a bunch of my items. Open the chest and we get... Shrink Stomp Badge. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that badge, but... Eh. I get why some people like it. Super Shroom. Thank you. You made me mess up. Actually, I think with Zap Tap, they also wouldn't really be able to do anything. <laughs> I didn't want to jump on his head again. I also want to point out, I still have not found Spike Shield, because they moved it to a new spot. Alright, now we gotta switch our badges out for the Dark Koopa fight. We do not need Power Jump. I'm gonna equip Quake Hammer. It'll help to be able to flip them all over on their heads. I don't need Power Rush. Uh, I don't know if they actually take damage from Zap Tap or not. I'll unequip that. I want Feeling Fine. I don't wanna get dizzy. Yeah, that seems good. I'm gonna take a nap, though. <laughs> Kumbari was just, like, sidestepping, like, I don't know about this, Mario! I think you need Zap Tap! <laughs> the funny thing is, Zap Tap's really not gonna help in the dungeon at all, because all of the enemies are clubbers, and clubbers can, um, uh, they don't care about Zap Tap, because they hit you with clubs. <laughs> clubs. <laughs> Thank you for always letting me sleep in your bed, Toad. I appreciate it. <laughs> nice glide there, Goombario. Alright. Well, this this episode turned out to be a whole lot more side quest stuff than I was anticipating, but we will at least make it to Tubble Bubba's castle. Hopefully we get to explore it a little bit. I forget if I saved or not, so we're gonna save here. I don't know if Dark Koopas got changed a whole lot, but I'm I'm preparing for the worst. Alright, tattle on him. It's a Dark Koopa. Dark Koopas, yeah, they live there, no for causing dizziness. Be extra careful when you see them grin, because that means they're getting ready to do their dizzy attack. I did not know that! 
Their defense... Oh! So if they're smiling, then they'll do their dizzy attack. Otherwise, they'll do their regular... I, yeah, I literally never knew that. And I've played this game. I just never read the title, I guess. <gasps> Dire Fox 240, thank you so much for the raid! <laughs> I really appreciate it, and it's good to see that my my raid alert has finally been fixed and is working properly. How are you guys doing? <laughs> We're playing some Paper Mario Pro Mode. <laughs> it's basically a hard mode hack, where enemies do double damage and often have new moves. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. <gasps> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's not an alert that I've really seen either, because I don't get raided very often, because I'm, I'm just a small-time streamer <laughs> from, <laughs> from my small-time world. <laughs> Yeah, we're on Chapter 3 right now. Oh, double star points! Thank you, Murley! I've been waiting for the double star points one, and that was a good time to get it. Playing for the new Monster Hunter game. Nice. I played... The only Monster Hunter game... The Ouch. The only Monster Hunter game I actually played was... I played part... I have the one for the Wii U. I never really got into it, but it was interesting. There was, like, an Indian chief who was, like, communicating telepathically with me. I didn't really know what to make of it. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't like the looks on those Koopas' faces. They're like, oh boy, we want to make you dizzy. I, I don't want to be dizzy. Get out of here. <laughs> I know I have feeling... F Actually, their dizzy attack is probably the best one to do because they can't do anything. I got feeling fine. Any tips for streaming? I think you're asking the wrong guy for that. Because, <laughs> in case you didn't notice, I'm not that popular. I don't really want to be, but... Unless you're asking the guy who rated me. I don't know. I guess my my only real tip would be be yourself. I feel like, I feel like if people are inauthentic, then others can tell. And generally, you tend to do the best when you... At least try to be the best version of yourself that you can be. That's my general adv advice for not just streaming, but for life in general. Don't be a phony. Yes, and have fun. That's also very important. And that's, wh that's why I don't really like people suggesting games for me to play. I'm always just like, these are the games I know I like playing and I know I'll have a good time with and hopefully we'll make funny commentary for. So that's what I'm going to do. And Paper Mario is my number two favorite game of all time, so... Very, very happy to be playing this hack. I love the game to death, but I always felt... I always felt that the game was a bit on the easy side. Especially once you get the hang of a lot of the battle commands. And th this, this is a refreshing challenge. Oh no! My spell ran out! <laughs> I'm not backtracking, though. People have been waiting for me to go back to Chapter 3. We're not backtracking again. <laughs> But then you can get the autograph. Nope. Koopa Koo can wait. Alright, time for BP. You always, you pretty much always level up BP. It's, it's just the best. Oh, man. Good to see the money money badge is still working out great. Oh my gosh, I got it. Whew. Oh no, that's right. That room, we're not going to just yet. That leads to an upgrade block that we don't really need to use. Alright. 25 HP, 15 FP. Let's see what badge we should equip. I should, I'm probably going to equip the payoff badge again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. We're going to equip Sleep Stomp for the Clubbas, because they are very easy. Oh, we want Quick Change as well, though. Okay, not Sleep Stomp just yet. We'll wait till we actually get to Tubble Lubbers Castle. We can unequip Feeling Fine. Oh, actually, no, wait. No, we can't equip. Sleep Stomp. Cl the Clubbas in the upcoming dungeon have a very high chance of uh, being put under put to sleep, so... It's a pretty good badge to have for the third dungeon. Go ahead, open it. 
Yes, Lady Bo. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it turns to sunset. <laughs> Don't ask how. It's just atmospheric. So, Mario, we're on our way. Are you scared? <laughs> I'm so scared, I do the little jump. Woo! Yeah, Tubba Wubba... Tubba Wubba is definitely one of my favorite bosses as well. I'd say my favorite boss from the game is the Lava Piranha. For a variety of reasons. But Tubba Wubba probably has the best, like, character and personality. Oh, that's right. Hyper Goom. Okay. Let's see... Let's see how crazy the Hyper Goombas are in Pro Mode. They're already terrifying in regular... Hyper Paragoomba. It's a Hyper Paragoomba. They're Hyper Goombas of Wings. They sometimes charge their attack power... Oh, yeah. If they charge, they're going to deal 16 damage apiece. Except for that, they're no different from normal Paragoombas. Just use a jump attack to defeat them. Yeah. Thankfully, we have Quick Change along with Bo. So we can always out of sight. Very good. I also need to practice slapping with Bo. I'm really good with Bo's slap on the N64 controller, but I'm the GameCube controller I'm using. The stick, the control stick's a little bit different. It's usually better, but it can kind of be a pain in the butt to use with regards to rapidly tapping it in one direction. Yeah, you're not getting the chance. Get out of here! Bo's got sass. Oh, yeah. Bo's a favorite party member among pretty much everybody, myself included. I'm fighting these guys not so much for the star points, but more for the money. Because <laughs> in case you guys didn't know, we're actually playing Paper Wario. Where I have the money, money, and payoff badges equipped, so we, we're going to get a ton of money for a... Uh... Oh, no. Don't. <sighs> I could run away, but no, I'm not running away. I'm not running away from my problems. We're going to switch to Bo, and she's going to protect me. With her ghostly powers. <laughs> the N64 controller was really good for Bo's slap, yeah. <laughs> That's where the rigidness of the stick was actually really useful. One of the very few points <laughs> where it was. <laughs> but, if I ever have to rotate the control stick, GameCube controller is so much better for it. Rotating the control stick on the N64 controller was notoriously really bad. Alright, that time it worked pretty well. I just need some practice with it, I think. Because I... For rapidly tapping the N64 control stick left, I had, like, a specific stance I would do with my controller. To do it efficiently. Oh, boy! Oh, boy, Mommy! A dried shroom! <laughs> oh, it's nice to see that Burger King is still <laughs> doing good business. <laughs> Alright. I'm, I'm finding a variation on my stance for this. This is good. Now, if they're are they both going to charge? I feel like there's a special AI where just they all share one AI and either all Hyper Goombas will attack or they will all charge. You know what? We'll let the Hyper Paragoomba attack. <laughs> you know why? Because that'll trigger payoff and money money. <laughs> With the Action Guard, it deals 12 damage. And keep in mind that Action Guards are twice as effective in this, and I have a damage dodge. So that normally would have dealt 16 damage. <laughs> Alright, I think, I think I've got the slap timing down, but the Fan Smack's going to be a lot more difficult. Alright, watch how many coins appear as a result of this. That is the power of payoff plus money money. <laughs> Wario! Oh, Lady Bo! What a surprise seeing you. You know, your ladyship, you really shouldn't come around here. It's dangerous. Tubba Blubba could come here at any time. I know. I came here to teach that Tubba Blubba a lesson. Bring him on. When was the last time he came through here? Why, just yesterday, lady. It was horrible. He... Uh, 
This time he ate Herbert. Oh, it was gruesome. Poor Herbert. He was so dark and depressing. What a terrific boo. Oh, no, not Herbert. Oh, Tubba Blubba, he must be stopped. Listen, everyone, don't fear. We're on our way to defeat Tubba Blubba once and for all. That monster has eaten his last boo meal. Oh, lady, your bravery is inspiring. But you know he's called the Invincible Tubba Blubba. Please be careful, okay? I'm always careful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Badges in this game are the best. Like, <laughs> I don't want to say only upgrade BP, but generally speaking, BP is the best stat to upgrade. But also, if you are if you just play the game casually, especially if it's your first playthrough, it's totally understandable if you don't explore all the badges, because a lot of them... A lot of them take a lot of effort to unlock. Whether by collecting star pieces or just in tricky places. Hello there, you're going up to beat Tubba Blubba up, right? Yeah, get revenge! He'll never eat another ghost! Never! Especially not... Oh, oh no! Tubba Blubba's coming! Everyone hide! Lady Bo, you have to hide Mario. Mario, we have to hide. Use my power immediately. Press down C. Okie dokie. Oh man, he's so cool. Everything's cool, lady. He can't see you. Nope, there's no way Tubba Bubba can see you right now. Mmm, uh... looks yummy. I needed a snack. Uh... A little tiny, but good. Honestly, okay, the whole concept of Tubba Blubba, where he's like this giant monster who eats ghosts and is like invincible, really cool. I really like that. Oh, Stanley! Oh, the horror of it all! Oh no, not Stanley Yelnats. We gotta save him. Okay, I see you there. Oh my gosh, that is evil. They're just putting a bunch of these rocks around, and some of them are going to be hyperclefts, and some of them won't be. Oh my gosh, that's brilliant. Way to make me super paranoid. That one's a real one. Yep. Never went for the effort of 100%ing the game, for, but... You, or you went for the effort of 100%ing the game, but never did a pro hack. Yeah, well, this is new for me as well, and I'm only doing it because I... I love this game probably a little too much. Alright, Hyper Clefts. These guys are annoying. <laughs> hyper Clefts, they have more defense power than regular Clefts. They sometimes charge their power before attacking. Yeah. Yeah. They have four. Luckily, we have Quake Hammer, but I don't think they actually flip over in this like they do in Thousand Year Door. Nope. I'm actually totally down if they want to supercharge like that. I'm down. I'm cool with this. Okay, well, that that was stupid. I failed the action command. All right, Bo, you've got to hide me or else I am absolutely getting murdered. <laughs> dig it up, up, Bo, dig it. Dig it up, up, Bo, yeah. Dig it up, up, Bo, dig it. <laughs> All right, now we can Quake Hammer. Okay, Quake Hammer is, like, low-key one of the best badges in the game. I, I still think that Quick Change is probably the best, though. What are you doing? <laughs> you at least potentially could have damaged me if you had just done a regular attack, but you're so dead. <laughs> I also feel like the hyper enemies will always charge if there's like four of them, and you can't take them out in time. It just seems like an annoying quirk of theirs. Also, there are all these hyper paragoombas. I'm not seeing any hyper goombas. Actually, wait. Do I even have space in my inventory? Oh, pfft. I'll throw away the uh, the dried shroom. Oh wait, no, no, no. I forgot. Wait, I thought there isn't there a hidden block here. Oh no, 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 no. There's no hidden block. But instead of Paracarry, you use Cooper. I always forget that Cooper can do that. All right, yeah. <laughs> Later, dried shroom. I really don't care about you. Broom. Okay, I... Actually, no. You know what? If they want to attack me and get, trigger my payoff badge, they're more than welcome to. And if they charge, that's their funeral, they're gonna die. <laughs> it's okay, Cooper, you can do nothing. Oh my gosh, wow. 
they they really just don't care. <laughs> They're like, it's all or nothing, baby! <laughs> Maybe he'll fail the action command for the hammer. <laughs> you always use Paracarry. Am I the only one who never really used Paracarry who thought he was just kind of garbage? <laughs> I spent, like, the entire last stream being like, Why would you use Paracarry, herpa derpa skirp? Oh, Repel Joe, we definitely need that. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna chug a maple syrup. Because <laughs> we're, we're running a little low on FP. Also, that's a, just a regular old Hyper Goomba. Yeah! Darn it. It was a little too fast. I love how you can title on the Hyper Paragoomba, and it's like, oh yeah, we know this HP, uh, but then the regular Hyper Goomba's like, no, no, we, we have no way of knowing. That's true, the niche of having a, a flying Koopa as your party member, I, it's not lost on I me, mean, he's cool. I also, I do like his Shell Shot ability, it's a good one. It just takes a little too much FP for my liking. I always just saw him as inferior to the other party members, where I'm like, everything he can do, Goombario can generally do better. And especially Watt can do better once you get Watt. Watt was always my favorite. <laughs> it's like it's like a baby ball of electricity that's like really good at killing bosses. What's not to love? I feel like Cooper is one of, is a part a party member who's like really useful at the beginning of the game. And has some niches throughout the rest of the game, but he mostly gets ignored after you get Bombette. Although, I'm enjoying him a lot more in promo, because Bombette got some heavy nerfs. Her bombs don't deal nearly enough damage. Oh, speaking of Paracarry, a letter to Feist T. <laughs> I love all the Toad puns. They're great. Alright, I want to try... No, see, I'm pretty sure if I do Power Bomb with Bombette, it's not going to kill any of the characters. I, I don't think that would kill any of these enemies. I think they'd all be left with one HP left. Cleft actually attacked! What a novel idea. I do... I, I can't wait till I get Power Quake, though. Quake Hammer is a little on the weak side once the enemies start getting tougher. Also, how did these Goombas turn green? Did they eat just way too many Green Apple Jolly Ranchers? It's okay, I've been there. <laughs> of, all, of all of the changes this hack has made, adding all of these fake rocks is low-key one of my favorites. It adds so much paranoia, it's great. And paranoia is fitting for the haunted world. <laughs> like, why are they doing this? Do they, are they just like, oh, I know he's used Quake Hammer every other turn that we've been around, but he won't use it this time. <laughs> oh my gosh. How much money do we have? Wow, we're back up to 150 coins after we literally blew all of our savings buying a Tasty Tonic for uh, Koopa Koot. <laughs> That's the power of the... Money, money. <laughs> Direfox240, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Okay. Well, four of these guys, we might be having to pull out some bow power. Nope. Oh, they're actually not all going to charge. <laughs> charge it. I probably should have taken out the Goomba in the front just to make the action commands a little easier to land, but eh, I'm cocky. Okay, now they're pa charging up. You know, I'm okay with that. I'll let one of them damage me. Again, for the purposes of money money payoff. Because <laughs> I think we're we're either about to reach Tubble Love's Castle or we're very close to reaching it. Okay, that... Mm, I didn't action guard that. Well, that means we're going to get even more money. 
Pretty soon I'll be swimming in it like Scrooge. <laughs> maybe, maybe the money money badge and all of the coins you can get is partially what inspired Luigi's Mansion. The game where you literally become a multi-millionaire by vacuuming. Great game, by the way. I still need to finish Luigi's Mansion free. Actually, wait. Mm. If they all do their regular attack, there's a chance they could kill me. And that would be terrible, so we're gonna out of sight with Bo. Just in case. Watch them just do their hypercharge, though. Yeah. I had nothing to worry. I have literally never seen a turn where only some of the hyper enemies charge, though. I think it's literally either they all charge or none of them charge. Well, I'll dig it. Give me the star points so I can upgrade BP again. <laughs> oh, hearts. That's nice. I'm just waiting for one of these rocks that's in an, a position where there's normally not a cleft to actually have a cleft. <laughs> the cleft fell off a cliff. That's funny. Oh, man. All these items and I can't use them all. Get out of here, honey syrup. I don't need you. Loki. I changed my mind. You Maybe I do need you. I'm going to try to get a first strike on a hyper cleft with Bombette. Yes! Is this an instant kill? No, it's not! It does flip them upside down, but wow, Bombette's just not very good. They nerfed her too much. Mm, man. They nerfed Best Girl too much. So this is not going to scratch the cleft, but to help me take out the Hyper Goombas in case they all... Yep, they all decide to charge! Wonder if the mod is adjustable? Well, I'm sure if you're good at modding, you can adjust it yourself. Oh, wait, shoot. Okay, never mind. I'm like, wait, if the Hyper Goombas have free HP, I should have power shelled instead. But no, all's well that ends well. Thanks, Cooper. If this has another... No, okay, it's just a coin. There we go. Whee! Okay, here we go. Now we're at Tubble of this Castle. <laughs> Looked like I was going to jump out of bounds. Oh, wait, there's no... There's no heart block here, though. Okay, that's gonna... That's gonna make the dungeon a little more interesting. All right. <laughs> Okay, we gotta level up soon. Are these guys faster? No, they're not. Later! Alright. Here's my favorite thing to do to club is, is to walk real quietly. Sneak up on them. And boom! Oh, that's right. Even though I encountered these guys in earlier world, in the first world... Because the hack is that kind of hack. I never actually tattled on them. Well, no better time to tattle than right now. Hey, Clubba. It's a Clubba, one of the main guards. Okay, they have 8 HP. This is where the Sleep Stomp badge is going to be our best friend. Because I want to say these guys have like a 100% chance of being put to sleep. Oh, good. They give two star points apiece. Good. We can level up pretty soon, then. <laughs> My goal is to have, like, 400 coins when we finish Chapter 3. <laughs> I just gotta watch out for the guards that are actually awake. Ah! Why is there a red clubba? I don't like that. I don't like that! 
Why does he have that much HP? This is not a clubba! This is very clearly a different enemy, but it... Sleep Stomp, do your stuff. Great, is he just not susceptible to sleep? Get out of there! What was that? Ack! Why? <laughs> no! <laughs> Put them to sleep! <laughs> Please! <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you can't put in a more powerful clubba and not make it a different enemy. Like, come on now. Okay, they don't have a 100% chance to fall asleep, but they have a very high chance. Alright, get out of here. Well, this is where Quick Change is going to be our best friend. <laughs> I still can't believe Quick Change only takes 2 BP in this. Crazy. Alright, while we're at it, let's refresh. <laughs> we kind of need a stat bump. <laughs> somebody, I'm not naming any names, but um, somebody almost killed us. I still, I actually can't believe I got out of that Red Club of Fight without dying. And now because Gumbario can finish it, let's focus. Let's get our star meter back up a bit. Alright, we got for that fight. I, I need to level up. There's There are very few heart blocks in this dungeon, so I'm going to need to just fi level up quickly. I love the dusty old, like, mansion feel of this area. It feels very unique from Koopa Bros Fortress. And Dry Dry Ruins. And every other- all the dungeons are very unique in this. I appreciate it. <laughs> Not Cooper. I wanted Goombario. Thankfully I can switch as much as I want. Whee! So is this... Is this guy's... These guys, their species is Clubba? What if they don't have a club? Is it just Ubba? I've always wondered this, because these guys have made a couple of appearances in Mario games, but I never know, like, what species to call them. I always just call them Tubba Blubba species. <laughs> Did the game just crash on me? All I did was open a door and walk out of a room. Are you kidding me? The game literally just crashed. Or maybe not the game necessarily, but the emulator just did. This is why I saved right before. Now, unfortunately, that means we're going to have to redo some of those fights again. So if I reload the ROM... Okay, no. Seems like that was just a game crash. Okay. So should I not go in that room? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, well, let's try this again. Also, if you have speedy spin, you actually <laughs> can just outrun the guards a lot of the time. <laughs> I'm still going to do my old strategy. But now I'm on the lookout for the freaking red clubba. I know he's not a unique enemy now. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, while we can, <laughs> while we catch up to where we were, I guess. Uh, how's everybody's evening going? <laughs> My evening's been going pretty well. I had to do a bunch of grocery slash clothes shopping earlier. That was stupid. Ouch. That was rude. 
the red clubber, yeah. The red clubber who almost murdered me. I didn't hallucinate that. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I got video evidence of the red clubber. <laughs> We're about to see him again. This time, I'm, I'm gonna be... Like Scar said, I'm gonna be prepared. Yep, there he is. No, I did not want... Eh. How did you miss this? You walked away for a second. Oh, yeah! It's, so it's the Red Club. He has 20 HP. He can deal insane amounts of damage. And, um, yeah. He also seems to be largely uh, insusceptible to sleep. Come on, put him to sleep. He delayed that. He purposefully delayed the attack so you ca I couldn't action guard it. Wow. Okay, so you just you have to avoid that guy. I tried to avoid that guy, but nope. Yeah, he he don't care. <laughs> What Red Clubba wants, Red Clubba gets. I probably should take off <laughs> money, money, and pay off, but I'm too greedy. It's like, you could put on some better badges. Yeah, but, but money. Okay, yeah. I think the Red Club literally exists to be, like, a fast guard that you have to use Bo's ability to get past. I suppose if you had the right badge set up and you were powerful enough, you would be able to get through it without much issue, but... No, I want, I want to be greedy. <laughs> I want to keep the money badges on. <laughs> Reskin Mario to yellow and purple. I mean, hey, if the W emblem was in this, I would 100% do that. Oh, yeah, yes, because we got a random drop Super Shroom, I think I'll not chug a, shoop, a Super Shroom, but, you know, I'll, I'll munch on one. Yeah, Red Club is your, you just you need to have Bow out to use their power. Oh, that, that Dipwad, he's on the bottom of the screen now. You're not following me into this room, are you? Because that would be a little too... Oh, wait. This is... Shoot, this is the room that crashed the game when I tried to leave it. But there's a star piece in there. Maybe it won't crash the game this time. Maybe it's, maybe it's like a one-time thing. That's what I'm hoping for. Alright, Bo. Slap at this guy in the face. <laughs> just don't leave. Yeah, this this is Paper Mario now. We just spend the the whole rest of the game in this dusty little study. I'm sure Tubble Bubble will never find us. I wonder if Red Club is what's crashing. Cause Red Club, maybe he spawns like literally right next to the door. That could be the case. Let's see if it crashes again. Nope, okay. It literally was just a one-time thing. Nope, no, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. How many red clubs are going to appear? Is that, is he just in that room, or are there going to be more? Nope, there is more. Well, fudgesicles. No, 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 no. Nope, speedy spin, speedy spin, speedy spin. Ouch. Man, I'm so... Generally, when I play this game vanilla, all I have to do to get for these clubbas is I have Mario Quake Hammer, and then I would have Bow Power Bomb, and it just insta-kills all the clubbas. Goes for a lot of FP, but it was so efficient. <laughs> you have a club, but I have a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> 
If I was an expert modder, I would mod the game so that Mario's would be <laughs> Wario's colors. I have put Paper Wario into the thumbnail, though. I did that just because I didn't know if Red Club was coming from the other direction. Uh, I think this is the way you want to go. Get up! <laughs> the row of five club has always scared you. Oh yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a funny place to go through. I have a, I have a funny way of going through that room. It's honestly, one of my favorite rooms in the game. <laughs> Just because you can go through it in a very funny way. <laughs> no 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 no. That was rude. <laughs> yeah, most people don't like their alarm clocks, and I, I upped it a notch. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Thank goodness he's asleep, but... Phew! Okay, good. No, you freaky jerkwad of a game! Why would you do this? No! Whose idea was this? Huh? This game sucks. <laughs> I guess there's, there's one way, that's one way to force you to use Bo's ability. Hey dude, how the heck are you not getting murdered by that guy? Oh, you're Mario. Nice place, huh? As a matter of fact, I came to this castle with my friends to try and find Tumble Bubba's weak point. We managed to find out that there's something important hidden in Tumble Bubba's room up on the highest floor. But once I got separated from my friends, I just had to hide. But you could go. First, you need to get to the uppermost floor, then keep going until you find his room. If you happen to run into Tumble Bubba, don't, I repeat, don't fight with him. He's invincible! Really? Until you find out his secret weakness, you'd better just run away. You got that? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh my gosh, thank you. Now can we get a save block, too? <laughs> On today's episode of I Shouldn't Be Alive. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for that. Upgrade block, we can upgrade bow. That's why I didn't find an upgrade block elsewhere to use, because then we'd have to backtrack the Tubble of this castle to use this one, because we wouldn't have anyone to upgrade. Alright, I'm just... Oh yeah. I... You know, that's okay. That's honestly okay. You know why? Because there's a safe block here, and it's 9.30, and it's time to end the stream. <laughs> so actually, that was pretty perfect. Plus, we don't we don't miss anything. We explored the whole left side of the first floor. <laughs> Alright, wow. <laughs> that was that was definitely an interesting stream, for sure. We, we actually did a lot. We beat Junior Troopa, we got a whole bunch of star pieces, we beat the Electro Blooper and the Dark Koopa guys, we did a bunch of favors for Koopa Koot, and we've started busting into Tubble Bubba's castle, so... That was a lot of fun, but th screw those red clubbas, man. Like, what the heck? <laughs> it's crazy, they're so fast, too. That's that's the real problem. Like, if they were the same speed as regular clubbas, like, whatever. But because they're so fast, if you don't have Bo out and ready to use, you're in trouble. <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Eastern Standard Time. Yep. <laughs> Have fun storming the castle! Well, we'll storm the rest of the castle um, next Monday. So, m Monday and Wednesday are when I stream this, and I stream at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also stream on Saturdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Still don't know when I'm going to stream then. I might try another attempt at that Fire Emblem 7 Iron Man. Or maybe I'll try something else. I don't know yet. But thanks for tuning in, everybody. This was awesome. It was great chatting with you all. Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, and God bless.